A week? I've heard of January 6th, but I did not know that there was something happening the day before. Got stuck in there. And people thought we were a part of the insurgents. January 6th was hell a tough. Ow! I need some sunscreen. You're okay, Cooter. Uh, these are cousins, family members, uh, and they are in charge of a, a Tupperware business. So uh, please welcome them, cousins. Hey, hey. Hi, hi. Okay. Please, welcome, welcome. Good wow, to see. this is... Uh, yeah, you're looking in that one and... Uh, You've never really been on television here. before. Oh, yeah. Uh, it, it's... it's uh, you, do I sit here or...? I mean, I normally sit here. Oh. Right. So there are people on the other side of the lens? Uh, there... Yeah, there's a guy Like people right watching? There. Oh, people, oh, oh, yeah, there's, I mean, the audience is here and, and there's a large audience online. You're gonna thumbs up. Make it easy. <laughs> Should I call you cousin one and cousin two or? Do you... Um, normally my pals call me Cooter. Okay, Cooter, hi, nice to meet and you. And nice to Kel. And Kel. Yes. Cooter and Kel. So. Well, welcome to Schumer. We're really happy to have you here. Yeah. Uh, when was the last time you had too much food on your plate uh. and you didn't know what to do with it? I gotta say that happened last night. With you and me, Jared, when we were out at Musso's and Frank. No. Okay. Okay. I guess that didn't happen. We're uh, cousins. Thank you. Yeah. 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 We started uh, late one night. We came up with this idea because we get right. invited to a lot, a lot of parties. A lot of parties, okay. like a, a couple a day. Yeah. And you know when you're at a party and you're eating and you want to take it home. And you you want to take the food home at yeah. the party. Because right. they're never, or they're always ordering more than enough. And I've been, t I just take it in my hands and it's like, that falls through. You know mm. how many, like, I waste all the, that soup I've been and my purse. holding on to. How much soup do we see at a party typically? A lot. In, in the winter, a ton. I see it oh, in the summer, summer like spring. Faster. And no, my, I'm like balanced. My, I use my purse. You, you were using your hands, you were using your purse, yeah. and then no. you decided, Hey, what if there's a better way? Hey, what if there's a better, better way? way. Right. That's, so then we, we should use that. Wait. You could write that down. I don't have any paper. Me neither. I'll remember it. I, I would offer you this, but these are actually, these are contracts <clears throat> from a company, Bully Fighter, they, so they sponsor the show. Uh, we were like, yeah. oh, um, our Tupperware is so, ow! Oh, no. I need some sunscreen. You're okay, Cooter. You know, you know when you're at a party and you leave the Tupperware on, on top of on the street. Absolutely. Like you actually drop it, and then the car goes by, and they're going back. They're going by so fast. Mm. And so we made this to last over a car. So. So that, wow. and then if your soup is in there, it's still in there. You're totally fine. Yeah. Yeah. And if you have issues with anger. She's so smart. <laughs> my cousin. If, my issue. If you have issues with anger, this is actually one hell of a shot. So that's that's another really great thing about well, no, it's an no. anger reliever. Keep it. Uh, well, I love the product, ladies, uh, and I I love you too because I, I think love this, you too. this I, I I love I love and I, I love your relationship. Would love to get to know you a little bit more. All right. Uh, what are you well, saying? Um, what are you saying? Are you We're saying? cousins. They're cousins. Mm -hmm. We got that, uh, and we love that you're cousins. We love that so much. Cousins by blood. What? He didn't ask a question. So, uh, girls, I think you have a... I'm sorry, my leg was falling asleep. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. You actually need to do a little bit of reorganizing. Yeah, reorganize them. Well, girls, I love the product. I, I don't have any money to invest, but uh, you know, I, I love the product. I, please, I'm, I'm just concerned. I'm concerned that other people might have already come up with this. What? I just have, I've Can seen- Can I ask you something? What are you talking about? <laughs> well, you know, I've, 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 I've seen these before. Probably the reason why our Tupperware has garnered so much success is recently we've been in the news. Oh, really? Wow, well, this is, um, we, we do break a lot of news on the show. Is we... it controversial? Is someone trying to, is someone try, are the Wokesters trying to cancel the Tupperware companies now? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting pretty full now. 
So we were on a tour of a lot of national monuments. Okay. And we were at the White House getting a tour and it happened to be on a day where something very big was happening. Okay. So we- Have you heard of January 6th? I've heard of January 6th, but I did not know that there was something happening the day before. Was it, you're saying, you're saying January 5th? We were at a tour and we got scammed. This guy said he worked in uh, the State Department wow. and we got a tour and we got stuck in there. And people thought we were a part of the insurgents. Yeah, because we got stuck in there. You were there the day before. Yeah, we got yeah. stuck in the, the building that January 6th happened in. Are you Capital. comfortable? Yeah. Look, looks a little uncomfortable, but looks whatever floats are you your boat. To, are you, can you hear me? So to be clear, you weren't just there on January 5th, you were there on January 6th yes. because you got locked yes. in and- People thought we were part of it. Right. They thought our Tupperware was part of it. And why did they think your Tupperware was a part of it? Because we were holding it, we were selling it. Yeah. We're, we're you're, like, you were selling it in the Capitol during the riots. Yes. Everywhere wow. we go, we're pushing paper. Because everybody needs some, because you know, I'm, I'm sure were there people eating and care- and it, it, we, you're okay. You're okay. That's places. great. Yeah. Do you mind? Yeah. Why don't you switch? Why don't you just swap? Maybe. Maybe you get sandwiched in. You can stop squirming. Can I ask you something? You can just ask. Please stop. <laughs> There's some dust on there. Yeah. I think. I, th I think you got it the first time. So January six. Can you shed some new light? Is there something that we're missing? You know that we should know about what happened that day? Yeah. Whoa, I had a flashback. To oh, I'm what? sorry, I, I didn't From know. what? Can I sing you the song I wrote? Yeah. January 6th. <laughs> was hella tough. Mm. <laughs> Business. I don't even try to buy anything but a tub away. <laughs> it's a comedy song. It was kind of soulful. I don't know. There's something about it. You, you two together have sort of a nice duet. Mm, mm. Did you go on any rides when you were in Orlando? I want to talk about the song for a second. Sure. I was, I was touched. That was a really great song. I don't want to just move along from the song. I thought it was a hit. it could be a hit. Okay, let's talk about the song. I'd pay like a dollar ninety nine for that. Oh, what? I'm sorry, Jared. You're gonna be a great president. Okay. I I would. I download it on iTunes. We get it. Uh, that's a great song. Uh, so I guess that was January fifth and sixth. Shine some new light there. Hopefully, it makes you rethink the whole situation and and whether it was good or bad. Um, why don't we do some panel questions? Uh, you know, there's a lot of things going on right now. Uh, the Barbie movie. I auditioned for Ken. Oh. He said I didn't get the humor, and I told them. Suck my cock. I told them suck my cock. I'm funny. I get humor. I get satire. It's a side of you I haven't seen before, the rejected side. That was amazing. That was my monologue that I auditioned for Barbie with. Now question number two. Uh, if TikTok gets banned, then annoying children all over the country will start crying. Wouldn't that be kind of funny? TikTok equals China. Sure. China yes. is not in this country. It's in a different country. And I think that's really, I think that's, I think we're all feeling it. You're just saying it. Yeah. Wait, can I show you guys something? Sure. Whoa. There's something right there inside of me. What is that? Hungry. So let's talk about hookup culture. Men are blaming the women, women are blaming the men. Are the men wrong or are the women acting like crazy psychos? No, no! 
Women are acting like crazy psychos. All the Women time. can't be trusted. Yes. They get emotional. Yes. Once a month, they get. Right. They get what? Jared, this question's for you. Since switching to 5G, has any have you had less sperm? Yes. If your call on the number today, yeah. toll free, you're gonna get what you want. And you should put no! No! Jared, no. Oh, but we're, we're together. We had a very strong connection, and you're cousins. Well, we're together. No, we're not cousins. You're not cousins? No. What are what? you? We've been married for three and a half years. years. The whole thing was that you're cousins. Well, it's bad for business. You could be a, a, a husband and wife, a mother and a, you could be you could be are confused. You could be a married couple, is what I mean. So you're two lesbians that sell Tupperware. Wow. Yeah. And, and now I gotta say, it doesn't it doesn't feel as special now that they're not cousins. I do have to say, it's uh, it just seems like any old kind of plastic. <laughs>